The plan is simple. I'm crafting all 893 Pokemon. The order is random and viewer requested, and I'm creating with paper. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Amy's Art House. Today, I am making an Onyx. You will see me using a variety of hole punches to make each of his boulders. And I think he has 13 or 14 in total, so I use various sizes and colors to get the shading and shapes right. I hope that everybody is doing well. Thanksgiving is soon. If you have time off work or school, I hope that you have some fun crafts or games planned for the weekend. I will still be working on setting up my new computer. I am glad I have it, and I'm glad that video editing is going much better, but I still have a lot to figure out, so that is going to keep me busy for a while. <laughs> Yeah, so I am making Onyx because I said that for November we would be doing rock types. Uh, after Onyx, I have a few more cool Pokemon planned for you guys. I will just click on those now. I have Gothita, Appleton, Applin, and Steelix coming up, so I hope that you guys will enjoy those ones. And if there are any uh, steel. <laughs> I almost said steel because of Steelix. If there are any ice type Pokemon that you would like to see for December, please let me know down in the comments. I uh, want to make sure that I am all planned and ready for that. Uh, so now I am doing all of the little bits of shading for Onyx. He has some lighter sides, and darker sides to each boulder, so that is what I am doing. I have to say, the other thing I'm noticing with my new computer and the new monitor I have is that my hands are so pink. I mean, there's not really much I can do about that. I could put a filter over the video, but I don't want to change how the how the Pokemon looks, right? I don't... I, I want to make sure that what I'm presenting is, like, the actual art that I'm making. I don't want to doctor it or anything. So, I don't know. I guess my hands are just pink. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it, but I, I did not notice. I'm like... I'm like 80 videos in now and I had no idea. Um, I do have some other things planned now that I have this nice computer. I'm thinking about starting a gaming channel. I also want to download the v Ride software and try to make an avatar. Um, but I'm focusing on Pokemon for now. I want to get to a hundred Pokemon before I start some other crazy project that's gonna take me down some other rabbit hole. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I typically have a really hard time focusing on just one thing, uh, which is why making the Pokemon has been so great for me because it takes me under an hour to make each Pokemon, so I sit down, I focus for a little bit, and then I can walk away and I can do something else. Uh, bigger projects aren't always for me because I do get bored and start other things. <laughs> So you can see for Onyx, I am using three different shades of paper. These are from a Park Lane Neutrals pack. I bought them at Joann's. I think it was about $5 for 50 sheets. And it had all sorts of tans, grays, browns, and it's been so helpful this month while I'm doing rock type Pokemon. As you can see now, I am using an oval punch. I've mostly been using circular ones, but there's one boulder on his neck that looks a little bit more... more ellipsoidal? <laughs> I think I'm pronouncing that right. I'm not sure. I have been out of school for a bit, so, you know, maybe, maybe I'm not pronouncing it right. <laughs> I think that the part that was the hardest for me to do was his head. I was so worried about messing it up. At least with the hole punches, I kind of had a guide of how to make the boulder, right? Like I had the basic shape, but I will cut the head out by hand with no guide. Uh, it did turn out pretty nice, and honestly making this really helped me prepare to make Steelix. S making Steelix was much quicker for me because I kind of already knew the process and I knew what I was doing, so yeah, this was a very good learning exercise for me. Uh, and now I am adding some rough edges to the boulders with pen. I'm sorry I missed some of the, the footage here because I didn't realize I was out of frame. 
Uh, but it looks so realistic. I, I love it. It's really neat. I decided to do the head and then the fin on his head in two separate pieces. So here I am just starting with the base. I left two lines for where the eyes will go. Uh, and now I'm just cutting out some shading pieces for his jawline because it's a little bit darker on his chin. I know I said that uh, if anyone has any ice types that they'd like to see, let me know. But if you can think of any Pokemon that would look good with some like winter festive papers, uh, maybe like Christmas papers, let me know because I will definitely experiment with uh, doing some like holiday Pokemon. It should be really, really fun. Finally, I am making his fin. I use two colors of paper for this as well, just to get the, the definition of the, the shape of it. But here I am getting the dark gray as well. And then I just have to finish putting his face and body together. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. It helps a small time creator like me out significantly. And yeah, I will see you all again soon. Bye!